doesn't. I brought in the new year sitting on the sofa with my dad as he announced that he was going to get two tattoos. January was the blurriest month that I've ever experienced. I look back and can't remember where it started or where it began. So I'm using my photos on my phone to just see. The first picture on my phone from this year is actually a picture of the Beatles. Funny that I'm filming this as it's Beatles day in our town. <laughs> which is utterly bizarre. It is also the 18th Beatles day and it's my 18th birthday soon, so... <laughs> when it all went down and the pain came through, I get it now. I was there for you. I walk the streets like I used to do and I freeze with fear, but I'm there for you. And death is old, but it's always new. I freeze with fear and I'm there for you. I can't say much of the month of February because it was a pretty dark month and I felt like I was in a bubble for the whole of it. A bubble is the only way I can describe it. It's all surreal. March was utterly bizarre and quite honestly I can't believe we're in April already. My brother's birthday was on the 7th of March. March has just flown by and I'm glad the first part of this year is over. So college, currently I'm still at college, but I'm doing all the work at home. I'm doing photography coursework and I'm doing my media coursework. And quite honestly, I couldn't have asked for a better situation because attending college would have been the death of me. <laughs> and I'm glad that they have allowed me to just get on with things at home in my own time. I have also, as you know, had a job for kind of three or four years now, but I worked from home and I kind of thought, I really don't wanna be at home all day, especially now I'm doing college work at home. So I said to my boss, can I come into office? So I had an interview and I started work there. Um, kind of start of March, middle of March time. In terms of what happens after college, I've just applied to do a degree in English Literature and Creative Writing at The Open University, which allows me to distance learn and do it all from home, which means I can stay here and still work where I want to. Um, and I couldn't have asked for a better situation, really. I'm so glad that I can do the degree I want, but also not have to leave home, which has been really nice. Stay strong through your pain, grow flowers from it. You have helped me grow flowers out of mine, so bloom beautifully, dangerously, loudly, bloom softly, however you need, just bloom. So it's my birthday really soon and I am looking forward to it. I'm going to be 18 on the 18th of April 
And on my birthday, we're gonna go to the pub in the evening and have a few drinks and some dinner with family and friends, which should be really lovely. Um, and I can't wait. It's just one of those things when life moves on and you just have to accept it because time is an evil mistress and there's nothing holding it back. And although there is an emptiness and there is life after loss, this shadow of you will never be replaced and can never be replaced. It's hard to conceive the vastness of what you will miss but I know in some respects you'll be there. I know you will be because <laughs> you wouldn't miss any of my life for the world. Even if you can't physically be here, I know in some ways you will be. And as spring comes, I see you more in the, the trees that grow or even just if something moves on toward and there's a sign that you're telling me my pasta's not done yet or that I should really change the camera angle or what I'm wearing looks ridiculous and you're telling me in ways that it's just behind my ear and I hope that that never ever goes. <laughs> so here's to spring and hoping that the rest of this year will bloom as brightly as it possibly could. <laughs>